It's the 1973 Grand National, and the course is damp with overnight rain, but not soggy. It could be a fast, even a record race. In Fiona, Mrs. Topham is negotiating a sellout, so this could be the last Grand National, except that nobody quite believes it. This year, the prize is £30,000 for the winning owner, with 38 starters for the most drawling steeplechase in the world. Jockey Martin Blackshaw mounts Swan Shot. Jimmy Burke on Asprey, third in 1971. It's Grace Sombrero with Bill Schumach. Crisp with Dick Pittman starts co-favorite. Black Secret with Sean Barker up. Everybody knows the winner, of course. But the one surefire winner probably couldn't run two yards if his life depended on it, let alone jump a six-foot fence. Crisp looks fit, but carries top weight. Lescargo favoured last year, but fell at the third fence. Spanish steps, tipped at least for a place. Black Secret finished second in 71 and third in 72. Red Rum with Brian Fletcher up, co-favourite and strongly tipped to win. Lining up for the start, Tim Norman is unseated from Rough Silk, but quickly remounts. And they're away, and racing towards the first fence with Crisp among the leaders. Red Rum and Black Secret also up front. But 28 Reeslow falls out at the first fence. Fence number two, invitingly sloped and no casualties. Black Secret among the leaders. But fence number three is a big ditch, and number 22, Asheville, falls. Black Secret racing towards the fourth fence with number six, Grey Sombrero, in the lead. Sombrero, first over fence number five, and racing on to Beaches Brook. A grand old front runner, Gray Sombrero holds onto that lead. And Gray Sombrero just clears Beaches ahead of Crisp second and Black Secret third. Here we lose Mr. Vimy in Beggar's Way, and Color Hill loses his rider. And it's fence number seven, with Crisp in the lead, followed by Gray Sombrero. Dick Pittman riding the race of his life. Canal turn, and it's Crisp followed by Gray Sombrero, Black Secret, Endless Folly, and Sunnyland. Racing for Valentine's Brook and Crisp first over. A courageous and brilliant jumper, but with doubts about being able to stay four and a half miles. Jump number ten with Crisp still in the lead and Grey Sombrero second. Fence fourteen, the chair, and Crisp clears it as if it were a hurdle. But Grey Sombrero crashes out of the race, as Crisp races ahead, well in the lead and showing no signs of faltering. Crisp over the water jump, with the rest of the field far behind. Over and time for a bounce, so what's the rush? Coming into the second time round, and Crisp lengths ahead of the rest of the field. Tarquin bid. Number three, Spanish Steps.
Out from the rest of the field, red rum chasing Crisp still far ahead. Coming up to Beaches Brook for the second time, Crisp clears, still in good shape and maintaining that fantastic lead. Followed by Red Rum, Spanish Steps, Hurricane Rock, Rouge Autumn, Black Secret and Great Noise. Jump number 23 and Red Rum clears. Racing towards the canal turn 